Before we proceed, let us rise and observe one minute of silence dedicated to prayer or meditation.
four dimensions, victims and affected communities, peace and justice, complementarity and cooperation are at the very heart of the Rome statute system. Our discussions here in Kampala on these topics will not be the end of a process. Much rather, they will give fresh impetus to the fight against impunity with a central role for the International Criminal Court. The future of international criminal justice is a joint undertaking of the states parties of the ICC and those states that have not yet decided to join their own statute. We must continue to strive for universality in the membership of the court. But the Kampala Conference should also be a decisive step in our individual and joint efforts to strengthen the will and the capacity of states to carry out investigations and prosecutions. Under all circumstances, we as states have the first obligation to do so. As part of the statute, we have committed to giving this court all the support that it needs in order to be effective. We are therefore taking a critical look at ways to improve our cooperation with the court. We will receive concrete pledges from states in this respect. The central topic in the review of the statute as mandated by the Rome Conference is the crime of aggression. This crime is already contained in the Rome Statute and we have therefore already recognized it is one of the most serious crimes under international law. We have prepared as diligently as we could for the discussions here in Kampala on the possible inclusion of provisions in the Rome Statute that will define the crime and allow the court to exercise its jurisdiction over it. The legal groundwork is in place and the large task ahead of us consists of finding a solution with the willingness to compromise from all of you that assembles the largest possible political support. I appeal to you to approach these discussions both with an open mind and with awareness of the historical task before you. This morning I propose to proceed with the first segment of the opening ceremony in which I will invite the high-level invited speakers to address the conference. The President of Uganda, His Excellency, the Great Museveni, to then conclude the first part of the opening segment and he will be followed by His Excellency, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete. We will then have a short break of five minutes and continue with this segment of the conference and in the afternoon at 3 p.m. with the consideration of agenda item 7, general debate. It is now my great pleasure to invite the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, to address the conference. We have the floor, Secretary General. 